In this video, we shall learn about the various pressure belts and wind patterns that have developed on planet Earth. While understanding the basic concepts behind the development of pressure belts, we will not take into consideration the tilt of the axis and the influence of land water distribution. Equator divides the globe into southern hemisphere and northern hemisphere and equatorial belt extend up to 5 degree north and 5 degree south. Equatorial region receives nearly vertical rays of the sun and this heats up the air near the equator. When temperature increases, pressure decreases. So along the equator we have low pressure and we call this region as equatorial low pressure belt. The warm air starts rising up in the troposphere and as the warm air is rising, the temperature drops. After rising up to a certain point, it stops rising upwards because it becomes cooler and it is obstructed by tropopause. So the air spreads out. The air starts moving in the southern and northern direction. As the air is moving, it becomes denser and after a certain point, it sinks down to the surface. So, at around 30 degree north and south, we have sinking air. This sinking air is cool air, so it forms high pressure systems. These regions are called as subtropical high pressure belts because these regions lie outside the tropical region and at the same time adjoining the tropical region. The sinking air now moves towards north and south. So along the equator, the warm air rises, spreads out and cools and sinks down. In this way, it develops convectional currents. At the poles, the sun rays are very much inclined. So we have cold air that sinks. These regions are known as polar highs. In the northern hemisphere, the air moves towards the south and in the southern hemisphere, the air moves towards north. At this point, we have air coming from north and south. So at this point, the air converges and rises up. These regions are known as subpolar lows. So at 60 degree latitudes, we have low pressure system because we have rising air. Along the equator, the air is rising because of convection. And at subpolar lows, we have rising air because of convergence. This rising air also spreads out, cools and sinks. Same things happen in the southern hemisphere. On the surface of the earth, along the equator, the winds move from high pressure regions to low pressure regions. That is from subtropical highs to the equatorial low in the northern and southern hemisphere. These winds bend to the right in the northern hemisphere and in the southern hemisphere, the winds bend to the left. And this is described as Coriolis effect. The winds bend to the right and left in the northern and southern hemisphere respectively because the earth is spherical in shape and the earth rotates from west to east. In the same way, in between 30 and 60 degree north and south, the wind bends towards right and left in the northern and southern hemispheres respectively. Even at the polar region, the same phenomena can be seen. 